Okay, so let's analyze this image. Her head is bended, it's turned a bit. So I will just draw it schematically. So next we have her jugular point around here. From here later we will draw her neck. And uh, we'll draw her neck a bit longer. So we need to remember just how her collarbone goes to shoulder point. This and here it will go slightly different. I mean, we have this. So next, breast line, waistline, and her hip line is almost uh, horizontal. So not, not really sloped. So her bottom is approximately here, and we will show it later like this. So her knees, well we will draw them a bit further later because we will show a bit longer legs and uh, here, but we should remember how her ankles are. So they just a bit to the right from this point. Next another knee and the ankle just beneath it. Here we need to remember from this pelvic area, how we go. So we have these lines and then here we have curved, slightly sloped line and here as well. So you just need to pay attention how those body curves go. Okay, I have drawn her head. Now I'm drawing the shoulder points. Her left shoulder point is a bit higher than the right one and then well, if you look at the image before, her, her bottom is just beneath uh, trapezius muscle. Why are we so preoccupied with finding shoulder line, breast line, waist line and hip line? And why do we care so much about their slope? Let's imagine this situation. You have your shoulders like this, like model shoulders. You know that the bottom is around here. How would you draw the spine? Would you go like this? Would you go like this? If you're a beginner, you might be slightly confused. So if you have the same scenario with the bottom here, but you know that your breast line goes like this, your waistline goes like this, and your hip line goes like this. You have 90 degrees here, you have 90 degrees here, and you have 90 degrees here, slightly wrong. And from here you can draw your body right. Well, since your spine is not really curved, this central line is not curved much, so both sides are more or less symmetrical. So I'm drawing the bottom, just showing a little bit of legs. Well, based on reference image, her knee is located on the line, like a vertical line. That is like maybe one head away from, like the width of one head away from the shoulder. But I'm drawing it even further to the left to show her that her legs are a bit longer because it's a sketch everything is longer so and you know as her shoulder is elevated i'm drawing her elbow a bit higher than waistline because usually the lens between shoulder and waist is the same as the lens between shoulder and elbow well and uh, i'm locating ankle of another leg just beneath her knee and uh, well, you can now say like, hey, I'm confused. Basically, now I'm just counting. Like elbow is located between the waistline and breast line. It's like one and a half head width away from her body or something like that. Drawing from reference image is all about making different points on the example and just counting. And as a base, you can have like width of the head or distance from different objects 
Okay, so uh, almost done with this tutorial. Actually, it's third part of how to draw any fashion post series, where I'm teaching to use uh, like specific elements to analyze reference image and just to repeat the pose on your own sketch. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to FSketch channel, like it on Facebook, follow on Instagram, write your suggestions in the comment section below and see you next tutorial. Thank you.